Everett Fitzhugh here with Cyclones goaltender Michael Hauser. And, and Michael, uh, wrapping up this season, obviously not the way that anyone wanted to end, but where you look at where this team was back in January, back in December, to where they were now uh, going on that hot run, fighting for that playoff spot, had to at least be some positives you can take out of this year. For sure, yeah. It would have uh, it would have been easy to quit in uh, in January after, especially after that after that Missouri trip. That was uh, that was a tough one, but I thought with the guys that we had here, we did a great job after that. Um, you know, everybody played a piece. Um, you know, when I went up to Cleveland, Rumps played really well and uh, Viz did his job. So I think uh, you know everyone everyone played a part and. Um, you know, we strung a bunch together and uh, we just, you know, came up just short. But I think, um, you know, it would have been easy to quit in, uh, in January there, but we made it really interesting till the end. Now, this was a really good year for you personally as well. You get a goaltender of the week nod from the ECHL. You're the top goaltender on this Cyclones team. You finish the league top four in just about every single category. For you personally, how was this year for you? And maybe touch on your goals from back in training camp in September, in October, to where they are now. Where do you feel that they were fulfilled for you personally? Um, I think so, yeah. I just especially from last year, my my main thing is I just wanted to play and I wanted to, you know, get a regular game in each week. Um, you know, I was happy with the amount that I ended up earning here in Cincy. Um, but, you know, from last year not playing much and then, you know, being the number one guy and kinda getting leaned on by the coaching staff and by the team, it was uh it was nice, and you know that's what I want every single year is to be, uh, is to you know work to be the number one guy and and start to play more. And you know the other numbers, those are great and uh, and things like that. But um, you know as long as I'm giving the team a chance to win each night and um, you know working towards that playoff spot like we were at the end, that's really fun to be a number one guy in there for that. Now, not only on the ice did you perform well, but it seemed like in the locker room you were that rock, that rallying cry for the guys to really uh, come around you and, and, and let's do this for Hauser, that, that uh, emotional rock in that locker room. Just touch on your leadership skills this season, how you felt they may have improved. Yeah, it's weird just from, you know, last time I was here I was 20 years old and, you know, me and Mac were, uh, you know, he was the assistant coach. I was backup slash starter for a bit and uh, you know things change quick in four or five years and um, you know I don't think I was one of the older guys in the team based on age but you know fifth year pro and been around Cincinnati before I kind of knew what things were like here and um, you know it was it was nice to be one of the guys that people listen to in the room and you know I like to think that when I spoke people listen for the most part and um, you know it's all about getting wins though it's um, you know everyone knows that you know, when people speak, it's it's all about, you know, helping people to play better on the ice. And, you know, it's not always positive. Sometimes you got to, you know, some tough love kind of thing. But, um, you know, for the most part, it's everyone was really good friends in that room. And, uh, and it was fun playing with them. Now, I've asked everyone this question, and you're going to be no different here. What does the future hold for Michael Hauser? Obviously, you got the summer coming up, some time to recharge the batteries, train. But obviously, hockey's not done. You're not done with hockey. Uh, what do you think is going to be in your cards next year? Could a potential Cincinnati return uh, be in your future? Uh, you never know. It's uh, it's an option. Um, again, I have to you know talk to people, family, and all that, and. I'm sure everyone else has said the same thing. Um, it's it's way too early to figure all that out, and um, you know I'm gonna enjoy watching the uh, Stanley Cup playoffs, and you know wishing that we were playing in the playoffs as well. But um, it'll be nice to watch a little hockey down the stretch here, and then um, after that, center will get sorted out pretty quickly, I think. Of course, you aren't going to get anything black and white out of Michael Hauser. Michael, thanks a lot so much for your time. Great season this year. Best of luck the rest of the way. Hopefully, we'll see you down the road here. Yeah, thanks, Fitzy. Appreciate it.